is Mike Holbaum. I'm a Canadian filmmaker. Uh, so at the Ambulante Festival, I'm going to show a movie called Mark. It's 70 minutes long. It's a documentary, of course. Uh, it's a movie about my friend Mark uh, Karbusitsky. He was my editor for um, six years. I was here, actually, in uh, Guadalajara uh, two years ago with a movie called Fascination. Uh, it was a biography of Colin Campbell, and Mark uh, edited that film. We worked on that film together. Um, two months before his very sudden and unexpected death, he, um, I saw him for the last time. He came over to my apartment. He gave me his editing software. He um, installed it on my computer. He, told me how to, he taught me how to use it. Um, I didn't realize that it was a way for him to say goodbye. After Mark's death, I uh, started a journey of gathering uh, pictures. I slowly began to um, uh, collect some pictures and sounds around my friend, around our friend. Shortly, uh, because, uh, because he died at home, um, and he took his own life, his partner felt uh, that the place of um, that the place that should be the um, safest place for her was no longer safe. And so she put out a call asking that people, um, she posted a calendar online and asked if people would come and stay over, stay, stay the night. It was tremendously um, uh, empowering and helpful to be able to actually do something um, to walk his dog and feed his cats. And while I was there, I started making some small pictures of, um, you know, their bedroom and his closet and his clothes and the cats and uh, little things. Um, simply um, gathering material, something to put into the hole of missing him. It's a, it's a tribute to Mark, um, for sure, but also um, uh, it's, a movie about, um, it's, a, it's a movie about the background. It's a movie about all the people in our own lives that we don't notice. Um, it's a movie about um, these small, sometimes incredibly important things that somehow slip our attention and we don't notice how important they are until they're gone, until it's too late, until it's over, until someone moves away from you or someone dies. <laughs> it's a 35 minute movie. It was made with a friend. His name is Steve Sangadolci. We um, hopped in a car in Toronto and we started driving. We had no destination. Um, we had, uh, we were shooting in film. We had no idea what we were going to shoot, where we were going to go, and, uh, or what this film might be about in any way. It took us four years. Um, we shot many um, sometimes beautiful, sometimes awful and unusual things, um, including uh, a bullfight, a long bullfight here in Mexico City. Uh, we were we were traveling in August, which, as you might know, is not the height of the tourist season yes. here. And, um, and the bullfighters were very um, poor uh, in their performance, so they were um, often, as this, as as in the fight that we filmed, he's the matador is chased out of the ring several times, and um, and he's um, gored by the bull in his shoulder. Um, so it's a film in which the traveler mistakes. Uh, the tra what the traveler wants to do is to escape from his life, is to leave his life behind. It's too painful. Something happened. It's too painful, too difficult. And what he wants to do is, is become this new person in this new country of Mexico. Um, I've had this very long fantasy. And my fantasy is that as soon as I finish whatever large project I'm working on, I'm going to go to Mexico and um, write my novel. I've had this fantasy for many, many years, um, and so Mexico means has come to um, represent or something for me um, a place where I can step out of these this urgent, necessary flow of my life and do say what I really should be doing, what I really want. It's my hope. Hi, I'm Mike Holbom, and you're seeing this through the city loves you.